The Bible is very clear and positive in its teaching regarding the existence of a personality of evil called the devil. It is popular in some circles today to spell devil with the D left off, thus denying his real existence. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 19, we read, Then cometh the wicked one, speaking of the devil, or Satan. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 39, we read, The enemy that sowed them is the devil. In John chapter 13, verse 2, the devil, having now put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Also, you can look at Acts chapter 5, verse 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3 and 14, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, or Jude 6. How Satan came to be is not quite as clear as the fact that he exists. In all probability, he was once a good angel. It is claimed that his fall is portrayed in Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 12 through 19 and you can also see Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 through 14 that he was once in the truth but fell from it is evident from John chapter 8 verse 44 his fall in Luke chapter 10 verse 18 it was probably in connection with the fall of angels as set forth in such passages as 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, or Jude 6. Pride was one of the causes. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6, Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 15 and 17. This fact may account for the expression Satan and his angels, Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Whenever Satan is referred to as a serpent, we are to understand such expressions as describing him after his fall. There is certainly no ground for presenting the evil one as having horns, a tail, or hooves. This is only to bring into ridicule what is an exceedingly serious fact. Yes, the Bible confirms that Satan does exist. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.